and the fact that it's the best market in the last 20 years, you could take a dump in the toilet. It doesn't matter. We don't care. It'll still get a top price offer. Hi, it's John Ray here with the Ray Group and eXp Realty, and thank you so much for watching Cape Coral Living. Would you try and sell your car without taking it to get a car wash first? Of course not. Why would you? That seems so counterproductive, right? It seems obvious. But the reality is, is that I get asked time and time again, do we need to repaint the inside of the house? Do we need to clean? Do we need to stage? Do we need to do all this before we put the house on the market? And the answer is yes, yes you do. Now, most of your real estate agents are gonna try and argue that whole point and the fact that it's the best market in the last 20 years, you could take a dump in the toilet, it doesn't matter, we don't care, it'll still get a top price offer. And I absolutely disagree with that. The end of the day, you are trying to trade your home and have somebody see the monetary value and the aspirational value of living the lifestyle of Florida. So at the end of the day, you're trying to appeal to somebody's emotions. You can't do that if it looks like a dump truck came into the back of the house and dumped a load of dirt in the front, in the lawn, in the, uh, in the living room. You just don't. And I'm not going to edit that. That's just, that's how I feel. And I'm getting a little bit wound up on it, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, if you don't take the time to clean up and straighten up your house, get everything out of the way, get all the clutter out. I know it's something everybody says, declutter. But at the end of the day, you're moving. You're getting out of the house and moving on to the next one. Wouldn't you think at this point, maybe it is a good idea to start boxing things up, to start moving things into and staging them in one room or staging them in the garage or better yet, get a little mini storage area that's set up for yourself. It's 30, 60 bucks, maybe tops for the last, for the next two months. Get that stuff moved off site. You haven't touched it in over a year, move it out of the way. And then that's one less thing you have to move on moving day. And number two, the house is going to show so much better. So at the end of the day, will somebody take a listing for your property without staging, without doing all the cosmetic repairs? Yes, they will but they're also the ones that are still desperate for sales. And that's the reality and the difference between you hiring an agent and hiring the right agent. And at the end of the day, that's the difference you want because that's gonna mean more dollars in your pocket and more dollars earned at closing so that, that way you make more money, you can take more of that money and put it to the next investment, to your next home, or maybe you might be able to buy that home and have a little bit extra left over for furniture, for remodeling, for doing things in the new home that you want to do so that, that way you're truly in the house that you love. So if you have an argument about that, I'm absolutely happy to argue that all day long with you or discuss it all day long with you. DM me below or send a message below there, a comment. I'll be more than happy to talk to you about that. And if you're thinking about selling in this area, take the car to the car wash first, have it detailed first. In other words, have the house clean, ready to go before we start taking all the photos, the videos, the video walkthrough tours, the 3D tours, everything that we uh, any good agent does to help market and sell your home to the masses online, get it completely ready before that day. If you have any questions about what needs done or you want a staging consultation included with your, with your program, get with me and my team. We're more than happy to have a free and confidential meet and greet about that. Discuss the home, take a tour of your home, and then discuss exactly what you should do to help maximize the house's value. And most of all, max maximize your equity in your pocket at closing. Thanks so much. And if you haven't done so before, make sure to subscribe below. And I'll look forward to seeing you on the next episode here on Cape Coral Living. Thanks so much.